What's going on YouTube and all you drunken misfits out there? Jeremy Glass here, aka I'm motherfucking drunk, y'all. And as you can see, things look a lot different from the last video. I finally got my camera in, I finally got the bar installed, and I finally got the mics in. Now, for this video, I wanted to do something special with this being the first one at the bar. And I went and picked up the Crown Royal Noble Collection Limited Release Winter Wheat. Now, I ain't the biggest Crown fan, never have been myself, but I, I enjoy it sometimes, you know. I don't go out of my way to pick it up, but for this video I wanted to get something special. And that's why I went and picked this up. It's a little bit more pricier bottle than a normal bottle of Crown. Never had this, don't have any clue what this is going to taste like, and we're putting it through the test like we normally do. So let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Nice little tin lid there. Oh, beautiful bottle. Now, it doesn't originally come in the the case already I don't believe because I think I put it in there after I opened it I can't remember for sure but that right there is a beautiful bottle a little close up here for you Crown Royal Noble Collections blended Canadian whiskey uh, winter wheat distilled from winter wheat and fine grain the product of Crown Royal Distilling Company 45% alcohol by volume uh, nothing fancy on the bag, nothing fancy on the bottle. Uh, let's see, what about the case? Limited release. The Crown Royal Noble Collection is a series of limited releases that celebrate the skilled craftsmanship of our distillers and blenders and their dedication to the art of creating extraordinary whiskeys. The sixth expression of the Noble Collection is a limited release of winter wheat, a rare Canadian whiskey distilled from a unique mash bill of 51% hardy and winter wheat, 39% corn, and 10% malt, uh, uh, malted barley, severely selected to produce an especially liquid, ah, sorry, an exceptional liquid carefully aged in charred American white oak barrels to highlight the delightfully buttery quality of the winter wheat and bring to life a complexity of flavors. This remarkably smooth and delicious whiskey is hand selected uh, from our reserve stock, revealing its noble roots with every sip. Carefully crafted by one of a kind expert, the whiskey is light bodied and sweet up front with a nose of praline, banana bread and toasted oak. That just sounds really fucking good followed by hints of creamy bread, pudding, and toffee on the palate. Light buttery notes bring, the finish, uh, bring in the finish, which is smooth and mildly warm, while lingering hints of cinnamon and toasted oak reveal themselves. We are honored to share this exceptional whiskey, and we hope you enjoy it. We certainly had fun creating it. And some more legal shit. All right. Let's go ahead and pop this bad boy up. Now, like I said, we're going to be putting it through the normal test, which is straight Coke uh, whiskey and then uh, whiskey sour because that's still one of my favorites there out there for a whiskey cocktail. All right. Oh, wow. That actually smells phenomenal. Most whiskeys I smell anymore, when I do get to smell them, because sometimes my nose just don't want to work, as you already know, uh, come out with a, a strong acetone smell, a lot of them. This one I'm not getting that really at all. Let's go ahead. Pop one of these in here and get us a little in the bottom. First off, like I said, good bottle. Port, very nice. Good cork, nice tight, but not too tight. Uh, cork and bottle review, just from design in hand, pouring feel, uh, did get a little bit on the bottom there when I poured it, or is it ice? Can't tell, no, that's whiskey. Uh, I'm gonna give the bottle and the cork a good Man, I want to say both a good seven there. Sitting on the ice a little bit, give it a little swirl around. Like I said, good notes. Uh, they're really hard to, t like honestly, the smell is almost not there. There's a slight whiskey smell with it, and then it just really disappears really fast. But no harsh Kimberly smell like some whiskeys have. Really smooth. 
Um, the taste, I can taste the uh, the praline. The praline is there. Do get a little bit of that bread flavor that it talks about the uh, banana, not bread, banana pudding flavor. I do get a hint of that. It is a little sweet. Very nice though. Very nice. Uh, straight. I mean, it's gonna be up there as one of the higher straights I've rated. Um, man, I'm gonna say that that one's straight. Probably a solid seven, actually straight. Uh, let's go ahead and get our Coke and whiskey. I'd say I probably got a quarter of an ounce in there. So let's do. All right, bottle review is going down. I'm sorry. Bottle review itself is going down to a five. Uh, shape and pour makes it a little bit harder to pour that clean shot out, which of course is probably just more, more, ah, designed more to just pour into a glass and not actually a jigger to measure for mixing. As usually we're using RC Cola. Sometimes it goes to Coca-Cola just because we ain't got no RC, but we have RC today. Right about there is why I like it with my mix. Not too heavy on the cola, just enough to get the cola flavor and see what flavors the whiskey accents. Of course, it's cola or RC. I'm getting a vanilla -y smell. Hmm. Right there, I'm actually getting a, a good hint of the uh, bread there, or the, I keep saying bread, the banana pudding that it talks about. The sweetness of the Coke has helped highlighting the uh, sweetness of the whiskey. Uh, see, and this is one thing I wanna get on talk about real fast. People, I say people, whiskey snobs say, you know, you're not getting the flavor of the whiskey when you mix it with Coke, when you mix it with water, when you put it on rocks, when you mix it in other things. That's just a straight out lie. You're still getting the flavor of the whiskey. Now, yeah, there is points. You know, you take a, a shot of whiskey and you fill up a red solo cup with Coke. You're not getting the whiskey then. But when you do it just right like this, just add in some and don't overbear it, you still get flavors of the whiskey coming through. And that's why I love whiskey and Cokes when they're made properly. I don't like overbearing ones. I like just a little bit, you know. Also, the disclaimer on this, I'm going to make an intro eventually for this uh, to just flat out say I am not a bartender in any way for anybody that's new here. I'm not a bartender. Uh, I'm just a guy who loves to drink. I like making good quality drinks at my house. and I like enjoy drinking them. Now, the whiskey and Coke, I'm gonna actually going to go ahead and, and give that... Uh, it's not the best I had. It's definitely not terrible. It's not the greatest I've had. That one's going to stay at a solid seven as well on that. What I'm excited for is this whiskey sour now. Now, if you have been watching the channel for a while, you know I love my whiskey sours. So we're going to go ahead and make this here. As always, we are going to be doing ice. I like my big cube ice. Let's see if we can crack this in here. Sometimes these like to crack, sometimes they don't. There it goes. See, nah, fuck it. We're gonna do one cube one anyway, one big one in there. See if this one cracks. There we go. Now, a fancier YouTube channel like uh, one guy I like to watch, How to Drink, there goes that piece would edit past all this point and make it look all fancy. Here's the reality of cracking ice with a spoon. Sometimes it just doesn't go right. You just gotta find the sweet spot in the cube sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta give a little force. That's where I like it at. We're taking our last ice cube, sticking it in that glass because we're gonna try to strain this a little bit. Kinda have to put some shit in there to actually mix it. <laughs> when we do this, you can use a homemade sweet and sour mix you can do it yourself homemade it i just prefer to use this master of the or finest calls sweet and sour mix uh that's just me i like to simplify things down and we are going to go with three and a half ounces two and 
to one and a half ounces. Give that a shake. Remember to smile. Break that off. And then we are going to try to, like I said, strain this in here. I need to buy a strainer. Make things so much easier. That is practically perfect. Like I said, this, this whiskey on the smell is a much lighter smell. This one, and it may just be my, <laughs> it may just actually be my nose is not working tonight, by the way. That's a very heavy possibility. Sometimes it wants to work, sometimes it doesn't, it's very bipolar. But what I'm getting is not a lot of smell off these. I'm getting a good sour smell off of it. I'm hoping this whiskey cut through pretty good with the sweetness now. It's there. It's there, but it's very faint in this. And the, and the whiskey sour is very faint. It's not highlighting as much as I would like it to. Uh, honestly, on this one, after tasting the first one, I would probably up this to two ounces instead of an ounce and a half. Maybe even two and a half, or maybe two ounces and cut back half an ounce on my uh, whiskey sour, or I maybe mean, on the uh, sour mix. And that might be help, uh, just help highlight the, the whiskey itself. But as far as my normal mix, it's just not highlighting anything really. There's a sl slight sweetness. The more I drink it, the more I can taste the whiskey. But it's one of those things my, I'm looking for it so my tongue is actually sensing it better. Uh, if that makes sense to you. Uh, overall, from my mix, I'm going to give that one, that whiskey sour, man, only a, I want to say a six. I'm gonna say a six on that. That's not the best whiskey sour I've had. And this this stuff being a little bit higher quality, which we've learned before in the past with the uh, the Jack Daniels single barrel select, this stuff ain't made you know to be mixed. Uh, you can drink it mixed. I mean, drink however, drink it however you prefer to drink it. Uh, this stuff ain't really made to be mixed for the most part. And the Coke, I like it. Whiskey sour, I'd definitely be reaching for a cheaper bottle to make a whiskey sour with this straight. The straight was a little bit higher than uh, than most of them. I say a little bit. A lot of these have gotten pretty low uh, rankings when I've done them straight. So uh, this one, uh, being at seven, that's pretty higher. Overall, between the bottle cork, the Coke straight, and the whiskey sour, man, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a solid. Man, I'm gonna say it's at a solid seven as a as a total solid seven. You throw in packaging and marketing and all that stuff, you gotta keep it at a solid seven there. So there you have it, uh, everybody. Crown Royal Noble Collection Winter Wheat. Now that I've tried it, unfortunately, it's probably just gonna sit in here in this bag, sit in this box up on the shelf for a good while now, till I run out of everything else and then I get to round drinking it because it's not the greatest. Uh, in my opinion, for me, it's not my cup of tea. I like, to, like I said, I like to make whiskey sours, and there's just a lot better choices over here to make whiskey sours that are a lot cheaper. Uh, it is a cool bottle, though. I am definitely going to keep the bottle after I do eventually run out of it. But overall, like I said today, ladies and gentlemen, that is a 7 and a 10. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, I believe my analytics say that like 90% of you that watch the videos are not subscribed. Uh, it's completely free. It helps out the channel every little bit of it. Uh, every little bit of support does. If you want to support me further, uh, you can find me on my Discord. You can find me on my uh, Instagram. Uh, I believe uh, there's a thing here on YouTube I probably haven't even signed up for it where you can join the community. Uh, just any support at all. 
is greatly appreciated. And like I said, I hope you enjoy. And as always, stay motherfucking drunk, y'all.